Yes, Ahal? Did anyone see Shoko at the market at the time when Sumac was killed? She was with Akna, her servant. Why? Taruka says he heard a gate slam when he arrived. That's what drew him to discover the body. Soon after, Shoko arrived. That's correct. So where's the murder weapon? We searched everywhere. It's not in the house. <sighs> We're missing something. I'll speak with Akna, see what she knows. As you wish, Ahal. This will never be clear. Hello, Akna. Oh, Ahau. Forgive me, I thought you were the mistress. I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Uh, I don't know anything. I, I never know anything. Does this gate open? The gate? No, no, no. It's broken. It has been broken for, uh, for a long time. Akna. <sighs> I'll find another way around. Uh, I don't know anything. I, I never know anything. Looks like the body was moved. This will never be clean. There are bloody tracks on the floor. Examine the body, Ahau. Perhaps you can see something I missed. Taruka is guilty, Ahau. I'm sure of it. Easy enough to see what happened. The servant killed his master. Yes, Ahau. How can I help? You said earlier you'd been working in the fields. Did you return here with your tools? No. Since the rebels attacked, the cult of Kukulkan has seized our farming tools. We must surrender them when leaving the fields. When Shoko returned with Akna... Easy enough to see what happened. The servant killed his master. A tragedy. We must see Shoko. It was... Ahau! Hello! <laughs> I knew it. The gr mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. This must be the knife used. An antique knife, possibly Aztec in origin. Mm, there's fresh blood on this blade, but it seems as though someone tried to wipe it clean. The edge has a... The murder. Put it back. You must. The mistress said if anyone saw it, she would get in trouble. Why would she get in trouble? Please, Ahau, don't make me. If anything happened to the mistress... You need to tell me everything. The mistress didn't come to the market with me. When I got back to my room, the gate was broken and there was blood everywhere. As the mistress called for the guards, she gave me the knife to hide. I'm so sorry. Thank you for your honesty, Akna. Please... <laughs> Please forgive me, Ahau. <laughs> Please. Shoko will be brought to justice.
More blood. Someone tried to clean this. This must be where Sumac was killed. This will never be clean. What is it, Ahau? Where was Akna when you found your husband? What? She was with me? Taruka says she wasn't. And you take the word of a servant over mine? I only want the truth. Forgive me, Ahau. I, I have no idea what Taruka meant by that. Akna was close by. She, she must have gone back to her quarters. When she is nervous, she cleans. Please, I just want this terrible day to be over the and justice the done. Pakal, Turuka is innocent. Sumak was killed by his wife, Shoko, and his business partner, Ikal. They are lovers. I found the knife they used in a note from Sumak ending his business relationship with Ikal, which would have ruined him. They both would have lost everything. Arrest her! No! Find Ikal! Shoko wasn't at the market. She and Akal were alone together as they often were when Sumak found them. In the heat of the moment, Sumak was killed, stabbed in the neck several times. No! No! Sumak fell in the passage back there. Akal dragged his body where Taruka would easily find it. You're lying! Then Shoko slammed the inner gate shut to attract Taruka's attention. She and Akal left by the servant quarters. Shoko gave Akna the knife and told her to hide it. Then she confronted Taruka and blamed him for the murder. Now they could keep all of Sumac's wealth, power, and influence for themselves and finally be together. Ugh, it was a call! Silence! You will both be dealt with. Ahau, please, go set Taruka's free. Thank you for your help. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. Taruka, you're free to go. Thank you, Ahau. Sometimes there is justice. Sometimes. I don't have enough space for that. I can't carry any more. It is busy today. Kukulkan. Ulurato and her rebels are the true sons and daughters of Baititi, if you're asking. I'm not the only one who thinks it either. Just the only one with the guts to say it, apparently. The Glen?
Mayu, where's the wheel? Is everything all right? I don't know. Her father came and collected her. He said he wanted to reward her for her studies and let her participate in a ritual. What ritual? The ritual of awakening. A how? That involves the sacrifice of a child. Do you think a wheel's father would harm her? I've known him for years. Today, when he came, he looked right through me. His eyes were black, empty. Where did he take her? To the abandoned village. Please, hurry. The ritual of awakening. I don't feel good about this. Not one bit. I caught a fish once at home, in the well. Papa says it's because there are tunnels filled with water under some houses. Funny, huh? Waiting for you. This way. Let's get on with it. Ah, Ahau. I present to you my own blood, my daughter, Awil. Her mind and spirit are strong. Stronger than any I've ever seen. I am so, so proud of my wheel. She will make a fine sacrifice. Here, the nectar of awakening. Hear me, Kinicha Hao, face of the sun. I offer you a wheel, the chosen one. She will drink from the nectar of awakening and her heart will be taken from her chest and cast onto the fire. The embers of my own flesh and blood given to you so that you may not to extinguish the sun. Awil, it's Lara. I want you to run back to Mayu when I say, okay? Awil, run! Can 
Kill. Ahau, I present to you my own blood, my daughter, Awil. Awil, it's Lara. I want you to run back. Awil, run! Waiting for you. This way. Oh, yes, Shintan. Let's get on with you. Ah, Ahau. I present to you my own blood. My. A wheel is Lara. I. A wheel, run!
Silkun sin pakat kukulkan tush binik le la se ban kut sokol matun beta mokyah goten kubeital itzik balon ve ora yana kibil Space for that. All full up. Can't carry any more.
Beware. We've uncovered a wolf den in the area. But then again, maybe that is why you're here. What do you mean? The gods have sent one outsider to hunt another. Very appropriate. Best of luck on your hunt. A wheel, are you hurt? I'm fine. I ran just like you said. Clever girl. Why did you stop the ritual? A wheel, you were going to be killed. But that's how it is. I was chosen. My sacrifice would keep Kinicha Hao from taking the sun away. Father said he dreamed me, dreamed that I was special. A wheel, dreams can be interpreted in different ways. What if you were meant to stay here, on Earth, and use your special power to become the greatest serpent god there ever was? Do you really think so? I do, yes. I can't wait to tell father. Awil, your father is... Going to be away for a while. So Awil will stay with me, so she can continue her studies. Of course. I better get started now. There's still so much to learn. Thank you, Ahau. Yes, thank you, Ahau. I will make sure our will is cared for. Please accept this bow as a thank you. It belonged to my mother. She was an eagle archer. May it serve you well. Thank you, Mayu. I better get started now. There's still so much to learn. Thank you, Ahau. to this. I caught a fish once at home, in the well. Papa says it's because there are tunnels filled with water under some houses. Do you believe that major events in life can be traced back to a single moment? I do. Take what's happening now. Had Amaru and Saidi not fought that day during the famine? And had Saidi not insisted, despite Amaru's wishes, that it should be him who would go beyond the safety of the borders to hunt for the village? Perhaps things would be different today. You see, Amaru felt responsible for his brother's death. I heard him the night they pulled Sairi's body from the wilderness. He was beside himself with grief. I think that was the moment. It broke Amaru. He took complete control of Paititi after that. He wanted to protect us all, because he couldn't protect Saidi. Careful, friend of Unuratu. The Jaguar warriors. Don't get too close to them. They are always watching for rebel activity. And they have no mercy. Hello. Look what I have for you. The gods favor us both. Thank you, friend.
So many of our warriors have been captured. If they are not freed, they could be sacrificed, assassinated. <clears throat> My wife is very ill, as are many others. A sickness brought by the outsiders. Someone should do something. Do Damn. kids don't authority where you come from, Ishiki? I think it's part of growing up, pushing boundaries. Are they in danger? No. The guards threatened, but when they were young, they threw rocks at guards too. Hachimalinich! The rebels like to make sure everyone knows just how bad Amaru is. But what they don't tell you is that if it wasn't for Amaru and his dealings with the outsiders, Baititi would have faded into memory decades ago. Do they think there's corn in the fields or fish in the river because of something they did? <laughs> Amaru accepted the help of the outsiders during the famine. All the rebels did was complain about how their bellies ached. Amaru unified Baititi, saved us all from starvation and rot. You ask me, I think we owe him whatever he asks of us. It's an insult, a dishonor to Kukulkan. What's happened? The priests have forgotten their duties. They did not signal Kukulkan's arrival. People seem to be well aware of his passage through the streets. That is not enough. The great beam of light did not shine down on the city as it should. Who knows what is going on in the Temple of the Sun? Unurato and her rebels are the true sons and daughters of Paititi, if you're asking. I'm not the only one who thinks it either. Just the only one with the guts to say it, apparently. The cleansing is upon us, and it should be Unurato's line that sacrifices Kukukan to restore the sun, and not the other way around. But thoughts like that have a way of getting people dead, so it's no wonder they aren't voiced. Possible. I can't carry any more. Have you met Paimo Ishiki? The fool thinks the gods punished him. <laughs> Lazy bastard. Ah, Pila Witch! Pila Witch! Little advice. Stay out of the wilderness, friend. Something dangerous prowls out there. This is as near as I ever go. And even then, I make sure not to keep my back to the jungle for too long at a time. Oh, 
all full up. Can't carry any more. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. All full up. Can't carry any more.
All full up. Can't carry any more. Impossible. I can't carry any more. <laughs> Careful, friend of Unuratu. The Jaguar warriors. Don't get too close to them. They are always watching for rebel activity, and they have no mercy. Thanks again, Ishiki. I'm happy to have my dice back. You are here during a busy time frame. Seven Sassani. Beautiful. Hey. My wife is very ill, as are many others. A sickness brought by the outsiders. Someone should do something. Le Coyote. All full up. Can't carry any more.
Do you know what's missing in this city? Love. It used to drift on the air, like the scent of hibiscus. That scent went away when Unuratu's husband, Sairi, died. Theirs was an infectious love. Everywhere they went, they were locked in hand. They would shop the markets together on sunny days like today, and I could swear the stalls would brighten just... a bit as they passed. I had never seen to be I make my way all the way over to him, and he tells me we can't barter. Said I had nothing he wanted. Imagine that! Surrounded by garbage and entrails, and he thinks he can talk to me like that? Well, he just lost a customer. I'll never visit his stall again. All my business will be conducted at the market from now on. Ichove, Tialujuchul Pakat. Thanks again, Ishiki. I'm happy to have my dice back. Careful, friend of Unuratu. The Jaguar warriors. Don't get too close to them. They are always watching for rebel activity. And they have no mercy. Space for that.
Impossible. I can't carry any more. 